Hey everyone, this is Arfin, and today we are going to calculate yield to maturity of a bond. So in our previous video, what I did is I calculated bond price and consider if you have bond price and uh, coupon payment and number of uh, payment, which is here. So how can you calculate yield to maturity? So I'm continuing this yield to maturity calculation in the same uh, Jupyter notebook, which I use for bond calculation. So let's run this first. <clears throat> All right. So here we are going to calculate yield to maturity. So let's say, So what is the formula of yield to maturity? Let me bring it from Google for you. So yield to maturity is equal to annual interest plus face value minus price, which is the market price, divided by maturity or divided by face value plus price divided by two. So what are the information required? annual interest at the price maturity. So these are the four inputs required to calculate yield to maturity. So for that, what we are going to do, we have annual interest rate, which is this one coupon rate. So 0 0.141 into 100. <clears throat> we have face value of $100, price will be equal to bond price, and maturity is five years. So I'm going to copy this formula and paste it here. So it's going to be yield to maturity. Annual interest plus Face value. So we have to arrange it in Python code rather than making a tuple or list. So so we have face value and price. They are very two. Uh, okay. So the yield to maturity of a bond is 14%, which is in line with our provided annual interest rate of 14%. Now we can write this in a function as well. So let's do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a function. It's gonna be, let's say price, YTM, which is yield to maturity. And then let's see what are the information required here. So for example, annual interest rate, which is this one. So I'm gonna put annual interest comma, we need period in here. So let's say, Time in years. We need coupon payment. So, so for coupon payment, the main factor we are required here is coupon rate. Uh, we need par value. So these are the factors required for calculating the bond price. Now for yield to maturity. Is what are the other factor we require? So annual interest rate is gonna be the coupon rate, face value, and we need price, which is the market price. 
Okay, so there are two things I will do. One, let's say market price will be equal to the bond price which we have done here. So let me just complete it here first and then I'll show you how we can do it. So in order to calculate coupon payment, all we are required is coupon rate multiply by par. So bond price will be equal to copy this formula, paste it here. Uh, and all we need to do is we need to change the factors here. So it's gonna be annual interest instead of period year, time in year. We have coupon payment. And we need par. We are assuming market price is equal to bond price. Big to maturity will be equal to this formula. So annual interest rate is equal to coupon rate into 100 plus base value, market price, I'm in air. Similarly, face value and market price. Let's print both the price and yield to maturity. So, what I'm going to say is the price of bond is. one price similarly print the ytm for this bond is into maturity Into hundred plus percentage sign. Let's run this. So price underscore YTM. We have interest rate which we have already fed into this bond price formula. So let's say point one four. We need time in air, so it's five. We need coupon, so it's 0 0.141. That's the coupon rate. We need par, which is 100. And we need face value, which is also 100. Let's run this. All right. So we can see that the price is similar to the price which we have calculated above here. Similarly, the yield to maturity is also matching with the yield to maturity here. Uh, now, assume you have a different bond and the price of the, or if it's even same, but the price of the bond is different. So what we will do here is we will add one factor market price. and we will run it now i'm going to copy this as it is and putting it here let's say our market price is 101 run this now yield to maturity of the bond is decreased from 
for 14% to 13.83%. Similarly, if we are going to say 99, let's run this. So it's increased from the old price, which was 100. So 100.343, which is this one. All right, so that's it for today. Hope you like the video and please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you.